Hey guys, Carl here, and welcome to another episode of AvGeek Brief, where we try to tell you everything you need to know in about two minutes. Today we're talking density altitude. What is it, and why is it such a big deal? Guys, I do a lot of mountain flying, and I fly out of Phoenix, Arizona. Between elevation and heat, I'm well-versed in the effects of density altitude, and you should be too. So let's get that counter going. All right, here we go. All right, the definition of density altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. But what does that actually mean? Think of it this way. My field elevation is 1,500 feet. If it was a standard day, my plane would be flexing its HP with a short rollout, fantastic rate of climb, and, and many other performance things. But if the day wasn't standard, like let's say it was ridiculously hot out like it is in Phoenix, my plane's power would feel anemic, my ground roll would take a lot longer, and it would climb a lot slower. After takeoff, my plane would turn to me and say, dude, why are you taking off at 4,000 feet? You said we were at 1,500. You see, altitude and temperature affect plane performance, both mechanically and aerodynamically. The warm air in our example was less dense, hurting the engine's performance. And the less dense air makes it harder to take off. It's exactly like you're taking off at a higher elevation. Do you see the correlation there? Well, that's exactly what density altitude is. We take the pressure altitude and correct it for temperature to give us the altitude our plane feels like it's taking off at. Okay, let's get a real world example. Today it's uh, 97 degrees out and open up for flight here. And my airport says that we have an elevation about 1500 feet, but the density altitude is 4,166. <laughs> that plays right into my example. Now let's look at a more extreme but real example that combines high altitude and high temperatures. Again, I live in Arizona and we have some beautiful high country. So what if I fly up to Flagstaff one summer morning and tried to fly back on a hot afternoon? Well, with a field elevation of over 7,000 feet adjusted for temperature, Flagstaff's density altitude can easily be above 10,000 feet, which is outside my plane's performance charts. So what does this all mean? Well, if you're flight planning, you need to take density altitude into consideration by calculating takeoff distance and climb performance from it and not the field's elevation. Plus, you should follow any guidance your airplane's handbook has on density altitude. If you don't, you may find out the hard way that you don't have enough runway or performance to take off, which could have catastrophic effects. All right, where are we at? Eh, I, I really don't know. I don't time these things. I figure it out afterwards. Anyways, I hope this video gives you a good idea of what density altitude is and how it can affect your airplane and what you should do about it. Oh, and one last fun fact. On a nice cold day, density altitude can work in reverse, giving you better than normal performance. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. I know that they're fun and fast, but hopefully informational at the same time. Anyways, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and head on over to our channel page to check out our other videos and subscribe while you're there because we have a lot of great content and even more great content on the way. Anyways, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys like the Pac-Man shirt today. I've got my own shirts coming soon. They're gonna be cool, promise.